All right, this is for the, uh, what was it, the... Thermocouple PCB block test. All right, yeah. So what we're going to be doing is uh, turn on the oven. We'll reach a key point of temperature for every 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And we will, this will be a long test, so we can't show all of it, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think either the space or, bat camry, or camera battery will last long enough. We'll show as much as possible. This will be right measuring the outputs of the thermal couples, and we'll be doing this three times at key sets of temperature, and we'll record it in Excel. So I guess we'll start up. Just make sure you don't get a short there. <laughs> Oh, I apologize in advance for the noise. There's a... Uh, it's populated in here. For now, it's... This thing usually overshoots, I'll turn it off before it gets there. Yeah, right before. It's moving. Yep. Slowly. That's what we want. Just tell me when you're ready to start recording, and then I'll... It'll probably overshoot 150. Make sure your multimeter's on, uh, was it, you're measuring for 20... Yeah. It's going to overshoot, we're going to have to wait for it to go back down a little bit. We'll let this cool down. Uh, perfect, everywhere I look, it's a glare. Nice glare. Uh, can't really do anything about that. Well, you can see it. Yeah, I should have turned it off. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just wait. What else are we going to do? You know, homework. Study for tests? Yeah, what? study for midterms. Don't be silly. It's a lot easier at higher temperatures and it starts to hold the temperature. Yeah, it doesn't change quite as rapidly. And by then, this thing has already been heated up to a fairly high temperature. The mass doesn't change as much. Oh, we don't. That would be a signal. Like, the 150 is, is almost impossible to do accurately. Once you get past 250 or so, it's going to be pretty easy. I use Photoshop because all the programs I was trying to use didn't produce anything here. So I went down and it has like the, the voltage regulator. This is a little bit easier when you have an oven that can actually hold the temperature. So what, what are you talking about? At my apartment, it would have been easier to, to try to keep it at that temperature. Yeah, then we have to tear this thing apart. everything out. I didn't even think about doing that before this because I forgot I said the block test is not a system test. Whatever. We'll just get this over with. Yeah, it looks like those things are off. It's just, they're so much hotter than room temperature that it's so easy to overshoot room temperature. Yeah, this thing has to actually heat up, it has to soak in the heat. 
So it's, it's stabilizing right now, and then it'll start cooling down to 150. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot YouTube. You can't host longer than 15 minutes. So, I mean, yeah, there's no way. We'll br I'll break this up as much as possible and try to show important stuff, but... It'd be better to do it in the middle of the test when we actually are able to take measurements faster. Yep, I'll stop for now. We'll just wait for the temperature.